Hello, I am Robin Taylor, Director of Career Services and Alumni Relations with Fairfax University of America. On behalf of the department, I would like to thank you for joining me in reviewing the process for reporting your employment post-graduation. If you have previously scheduled for an appointment and missed a session, feel free to contact me as soon as possible so that we can provide you with additional meeting dates and times. At any point during this session that you have questions, please send me an email. Now, let's get started on what you will need to know for reporting your employment. Once the Registrar's Office notifies Career Services of your status change from student to graduate, you will receive an email from my department. In the email, the following forms and link will be included. Employment Notification Form or ENF, skill list by program, and supplement to employment notification form. All graduates, whether F1, green card holder, U.S. citizen, or any other status, is required to submit one of the documents which is used for accreditation purposes by Career Services. The ENF can only be submitted if you are working. At the top of the ENF, it reads, Submit this completed form no later than 90 days from the start date on your EAD card and within 10 days if employment status changes. Scan and email this form with the employment offer letter to career at fxua.edu. All FXUA graduates should submit this form regardless of their status. Additionally, F1 status graduates would need to update employment on the DSO website. In Section 1, you will be asked to provide personal information such as your name, address, telephone number, and email. In Section 2, Job Placement Information, you may use your offer letter issued by your employer to complete a majority of the spaces such as job title, start date, hours per week, salary, and in supervisor's contact information. If you are not sure of the E-Verify number and employer identification number, please ask your Human Resources Department. Next, you will need to list four skills you use in this position which relate it to your degree. By using the skill list by program, each school is broken down by program. Once you identify your school, simply click onto the program and you will be directed to a list of skills. Select four skills and list them accordingly on the form. You are then able to check whether you are new to this position, certify the information is true and factual by signing your name and dating the document. Now, once you're ready to submit the ENF and offer letter to Career Services, once my department receives your documents, I will send you a confirmation of receipt. Within an hour of your confirmation, ASICS, our accrediting body, will send to you and your employer an email requesting verification of your employment. You, your employer, or both of you may confirm your employment. It takes less than 10 seconds to verify the email. If you have any questions, please let me know. Lastly, it is important to remember that if your employment changes, you will need to submit a new ENF and offer letter each time, regardless of your status. Our next document is the Supplement to Employment Notification Form. If you are unable to begin working immediately after graduation due to a reason only listed in Section 2 of this document, you will need to complete this form and submit to my office. You may not complete this form if you are looking for employment. For example, if a graduate decided to continue his or her education, in Section 2, the box for continued education would be checked and a copy of an acceptance letter would need to be submitted along with this signed and dated form. If you are not sure, again, let me know. I'm always available for assistance. Thank you for joining me for this session on reporting your employment post-graduation. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or even visit our office. Our doors are always open. Thank you.